Hey guys, so I decided that since this one is kind of wasted, I'm going to upgrade. This one is a trim router I picked up from Canadian Tire for about 60 bucks, And uh, I'm going to try that out and see how well that works. The only problem that I see is that it is pretty heavy. It's easily a couple of pounds. I don't know what it says on the box, but it's, yeah, it's a couple of pounds easy. You know, as opposed to this thing, which... You know, it certainly is probably two, probably three, four times as heavy as that thing is. Because that's all plastic and this is uh, aluminum and plastic. I'm assuming it's aluminum underneath here. Anyways, the last thing I will use this for is I'm going to make a bracket or a set of brackets to support this thing. I probably could just, you know, make it out of piece of MDF up and cut it myself. But I figured I'd give it a go. I laid out something on, uh, on SketchUp and... Uh, and I'm going to try it out and see how well that works. Anyways, I do have a few other things that i got to do, so we'll get back to this in a few minutes. Okay, so there was a quick demonstration of the new router, and uh, or the new router spindle, if you want to call it that, because this is really a CNC router. Uh, so I cut a new one of these, and you might be able to tell, I might have had an accident here. Two problems I had at the beginning here, and it wasn't the machine's fault. I went and I ran the wrong program, and it started to cut, and so I tried canceling it, Finally, it canceled, and uh, and then I went and I did a seek, and I forgot that this stupid G code sender, if it's running an imperial, normally the oh god, GRBL, the software on the Arduino, runs in default in millimeter mode. So when you go to machine control here, right up here and you use your your step buttons and you've got an increment of one, it's moving one millimeter. But when you cancel a program in progress that was in inches, it sets it into inch mode, so suddenly you start seeking in inches. And I still had the spindle running when I wanted to bring it down some and it crashed into the bottom of the table and I actually burned that before I got a chance to retract it back up again. But anyways, I've been tuning my parameters better, you can see at that layer on the bottom is much thinner and I had exactly the problem that I talked about in one of the previous videos which was the uh, little center piece inside the middle of that breaking loose I guess I must have thrown the piece away but it broke loose and rattled around in there you can actually see some dents in the far side of that from where it was getting bounced off of there but otherwise this worked okay something's whacked out with my CNC program because it cut this center hole three times and this hole twice I'm not sure why but uh, I think it turned out okay I had to open the door definitely some sort of a dust collection system uh, would be in order you can actually see right through that so it cut it pretty thin and it didn't actually nail the table apart from where I fucked up anyways so I'm gonna cut this out I should be able to just cut that with, with uh, a knife now and just sand it to clean it up and that should be good for that one and actually we might as well check and see if that size is, is about right and the size is right um, one problem with the new router uh, quarter inch chuck yeah it's a little warm um, quarter inch chuck no eighth inch chuck or uh, call it I really should say so I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I don't really want to buy a bunch of new tools that are that are quarter inch, and some of them wouldn't work that way anyways. Um, you know, especially some of the small engraving bits in that. So I'll have to see if I can maybe make an adapter for this unit. Anyways, guys, I think that's it. Corrected a few problems I noticed, and I realized there's a couple of more. One thing I could see was when this was plunging and it hit the cut I could actually see this lift up just a little bit 
and uh, and all that. And I can see that that when I did that first cut on the center there, you can see it actually must have been uh, a little bit wrong because you can see just a little nick in this corner right here, where it kind of looks like it uh, it took it like a couple of thou too soon. It's not a big deal for this piece, but for something in the future it might be. I was also taking thicker or deeper cuts. Instead of 132nd, I was taking them at 1 16th to see if that worked any better. And certainly this new router can take it, and the machine didn't seem to mind it too much, although that might have been <clears throat> one I, I saw it deflecting. These were, these were plunges. These were plunges. And the plunges, maybe they, they need to be changed, but you can't individually change them in the software I was using, so kind of hard to, to be sure what to do with that. Anyways, apart from that, the only other thing that I figured out I really need is a dust control system. You can see everything is covered with dust here, and this is after I blew things off a couple of times during the process. So that would be an important thing, is a dust collection system. I was thinking about this thing, and when I make the next one, I'm going to change this. There's no reason why you need, you know, 10 inches of, of travel. It just doesn't make any sense. Not when this piece here is only, what, about 3 inches. So really, the maximum amount of travel you would ever need would be that distance plus, you know, the longest bit you would ever have. <clears throat> so, you know, 6 or 7 inches would be plenty. Anyways, guys, I'm going, my throat is getting real hoarse here. So I'll let you guys go. Thanks for watching, and I'll keep you guys up to date on how things are going. Hey guys, just a quick addendum here. That's what I was planning on doing with these things. There's going to be two on the opposite sides, but this one's just kind of a test. I was doing some testing to see how much the space was in here for the pipe, and it's a little tight, so I'm going to have to blow this up by mm, probably about 50 thou, 100 thou in dimensions here. Also, I'm going to have to make sure I drill the holes a little bit larger. Uh, this one didn't crack because I drilled it, you know, one size above 5 16 so this one I did a 5 16 and it cracked, so. Gotta be careful, eh? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.